Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum, and the problem I'd like to show you today is a problem that involves a thermistor uh, temperature sensing circuit, uh, and the presumption here is that it is connected to an Arduino. And so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, the circuit that you see there is a voltage divider circuit, and the steps of solving this problem are to first figure out the current that flows through this entire circuit. So there's just one place for the current to go. And once we know that current, we can use that current to figure out the voltage that goes across this lower resistor. And I'll just labor, label that V sub lower. Once I know that voltage, I can use that voltage to figure out what kind of a number would come into the programming of the Arduino as that analog read value and when I know the analog read value I can use it in this uh, temperature equation to find temperature which is actually what the uh, problem is asking for so those are the general steps and we'll get started now alright so first of all this current is really just going to be equal to the voltage uh, 5 volts divided by the total amount of resistance from the 5 volts to ground, which is just going to be the sum of 21 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms, uh, because this is just a series circuit. All right. And so I'm going to actually apply a couple of uh, conversions here just to make it clear how I'm getting from this to the number that I will write down in just a second. Um, kilo is a thousand and so I want this to actually end up in ohms down here and so I'm gonna put a thousand um, pardon me we're gonna put a thousand ohms down here and one kilo ohm up here and also uh, we know that a milli of something, like a milliamp, that's what we're going to do right now, is a thousandth of something. A thousand milliamps is one amp. And I want to express this in milliamps, and so I'm going to put a thousand milliamps up here and an amp down here. And what you'll see is that my volts divided by ohms, because my kilo ohms has now gone away, volts divided by ohms gives me amps so that would knock out the amps there and I'd end up with milliamps so I'm gonna put this in uh, 5 uh, divided by the sum of 21 and 10 and just to make it clear here these thousands also would uh, would cancel out and the volts and ohms that's what gave me the amps and so what I end up with here is a number that is in uh, milliamps so 0.6129 I think that was 1 0.16129 and this is in milliamps again all right. Now that I have the amount of current that flows through this whole circuit right here, I can use that along with the fact that I know this resistance value here to figure out what the voltage is across that lower resistor. Okay, so the voltage across the lower resistor is just going to be equal to uh, that current I. multiplied by the amount of resistance that I have which is 10 kilo ohms the resistance across that lower resistor and again I can do a similar thing here where my milliamps I have a thousand milliamps for every amp and I have a thousand ohms 
for every kilo ohm. So again, these factors of a thousand would cancel out, kilo ohms would cancel out, um, the milliamps that I had here would cancel out, and what we're left with is just uh, amps times ohms, which gives me volts. So I'll put these in here. Um, it's just going to be that previous result times 10. Okay, so this gives me 1.6129. just check myself there all right that's the voltage across the lower resistor well this voltage value has an implication as far as the uh, reading that's going to happen in the programming language of the Arduino that equation works like this where we get an analog read value that is going to be equal to the voltage multiplied by 1023 for every 5 volts. This comes from the fact that an Arduino has a 10-bit digital to analog, uh, analog to digital converter and uh, so that's where that value of 1023 comes from and so what we end up with out of here is just taking that previous result and multiplying it by 1023 dividing by 5. which gives me 330. And that doesn't really have units because that's just a number that represents voltage. It's a number that's in the programming language of the Arduino. So we pretty much just have one more step now and it's to use this calibration equation that we have for temperature for, the, uh, for this circuit and figure out temperature now that we know an analog read value. Okay, so the temperature is going to be equal to 0 0.1608 times 330, the value that we just got, minus 28.062. And the units that are going to come out of all of this are going to be in degree C because that's how this equation is set up. So 330 times 0 0.1608 minus 28.062 which gives me 25. And again that's in degree C. Therefore, I would pick answer H. Hope this has been valuable. If it has, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later.